Welcome to the video for what is a vector. Vector data is a collection of three float values stored in one variable. Depending on the use, this is commonly referred to as XYZ or RGB. If you're looking to store a 3D representation of something, then a vector is normally what you're looking for. Traditionally, a vector would be used for something such as a location or rotation, but you can also use it to store the values of a color where XYZ is the equivalent of RGB. You'll find that that is common in the material editor when working with colors. As you can see on the top green line, 100.0, 100.0 and 200.0 is a perfectly valid float whereas 1.0, 1.0 and 1.0 is another valid float and would probably be used for something such as storing the RGB value of white. These are our standard setter and getter node for vectors but one nice thing is due to a vector actually being a collection of three floats you can right click and split the struct pin and it will turn it into three vector float variables this is nice when you're trying to access an individual value and anywhere there is a vector pin you can split it it can be handy for example if you're trying to do a line trace to find something that is approximately 100 units in front of the character you can take your standard vector variable, split the struct pin into the x, y, z, add 100 to the x, and put that as your end destination for x, and simply copy over your y and z as is. It also lets you use your original vector variable for the start, and you now can tell what is approximately 100 units in the x direction by doing a line trace, splitting your vector.